Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the first lab of General Chemistry 1, where you'll be pipetting water using three different glassware, pieces of glassware. First, a short note on PPE, personal protective equipment. Anytime you enter the lab, you're going to have to wear goggles. Now we have to wear masks, but also we have our safety goggles, which are important uh, in case things spill. You want to have a protection for our eyes. And also on top of that, for this lab, you'll have an additional barrier, and that barrier is going to be a face shield. So you can just, uh, you're going to have a, a a film here, so make sure you peel off the film off your face shield, and then you're going to just sort of overlay it over. So this is something that's not very convenient. It can be a little bit cumbersome, and things can fog up. Uh, so it's only a couple of hours of suffering, so you just want to bear with it. Uh, always feel free to leave the room if you want to air yourself out. Um, what I like to do is put the face shield over the goggles, so you have some um, a barrier and your face shield is not, you know, bobbing back and forth. So I sort of overlay it over my goggles. So again, uh, protective, so protective equipment for this lab is going to be the mask, goggles, safety goggles, which you need anyways, and then as a special extra layer of protection, these face shields. So the goal of this lab is to actually measure 10 milliliters of water to see how close you are to 10 milliliters. Now the way we measure closeness is through accuracy and reproducibility. Reproducibility is measured by precision. So we're going to measure this four times using three different pieces of glassware. So the first uh, measuring device is going to be this 50 milliliter glass beaker. So we're going to measure 10 milliliters, okay, four times. So you can do 10 mils, 10 mils, 10 mils, and then 10 mils. Then we'll move on to the graduated cylinder. So the graduated cylinder is a piece of glassware you will use a lot in Gen Chem. And then finally, we're going to measure 10 mils. Again, we're doing four replicates. We're going to measure it with this 10 milliliter glass pipette. So this technically should be the most accurate piece of glassware um, in getting close to 10 milliliters, which is your target. Um, now, you're not going to get exactly 10 milliliters. Right, you're going to get 9.56, 9.87, 9.74. You're going to do it four times and get an average to see how accurate and precise you are in getting to 10 milliliters. The first thing that you will do in this lab is to actually get the temperature of water. Remember, we're measuring the mass of water, and from that mass of water, we're going to convert it to a volume of water, hoping to get as close as possible to 10 milliliters. So in order to make that conversion from weight to volume, we're going to use density density, which is an intensive property. So the first thing you're going to do in the lab is to grab some deionized water in a beaker. So our deionized water container, that's called a carboy, is here. So I'm going to go ahead and get some water. mass of the water that you guys will weigh out to the volume, you're going to need the temperature of the water because temperature, because temperature is density dependent. So we have a little beaker here of water. I'm going to take a thermometer, set it down, and let's let it sit for about a couple of minutes or so, or so, and then get the temperature. After we get our temperature, we'll record it and fill out our table. All right, so it's been a minute or so, so let's take the temperature of our water. And I am measuring a temperature of about 21 degrees. So let's fill out table one. This is in your lab handout. So the temperature of water is 21 degrees C. And let's use our table here to figure out the density of water at 21 degrees. And if you notice from this table here in your lab, it's 0.9980 grams per milliliter. Remember, density is mass over volume. 0 0.9980 grams per milliliter. So that's the density of water at 21 degrees C, which is the temperature of our water. Let's go ahead and fill out this table by weighing out 10 milliliters, or what we think is 10 milliliters, utilizing the glass beaker. So the first thing we're going to do here is measure our water using this 50 ml small glass beaker and we're going to measure how close we can get to 10 milliliters utilizing these little plastic um, 
pipettes. So these are available in the lab right on the counter bench. So before we measure, we're going to take the weight of the empty glass speaker by itself. This is a 50 mil glass speaker. I got gloves heat on, um, but it's always good technique to take a Kim wipe. Okay, this is called a Kim wipe. And uh, let's just weigh it empty. Okay, so make sure this is at 0.00, .00 and we're going to weigh this by itself. And the empty glass speaker is 32.08 grams. So going to our table one here. Okay, this is our first trial. Our mass before addition from the beaker is 32.08 grams. Okay, so now let's take this out. I'm going to now... Well, I'm now going to try to attempt to get to 10 milliliters utilizing this plastic uh, pipette and some water in a beaker. So, so I'm going to get down on my knees here, sort of get eye level face to face with it. And so 10 mil. So you want to make sure the meniscus, which is that little concave shape, uh, is above the 10 milliliter markings. This is our first trial. So let's see how good we can get to 10 milliliters. Again, get that meniscus to be above the markings. So I think I'm going to stop right here. I think in my eye, that's about 10 milliliters. So let's go ahead and weigh this. Get the Kim wipe in just to prevent fingerprints. That's all. Try to get a more accurate weight. And this is with 10 milliliters of water. The weight is 40.94 grams. 40.94, so this will be the mass after the addition of our first 10 milliliters of water. All right, so the mass of the added water, let's take 40.94 minus 32.08, and that will be the mass of the water. So let's do that really quickly on our calculator. So doing this subtraction, I thought I was aiming for 10 milliliters, but I got 8.86 grams, okay? Well, that's grams, we want the volume our goal is to get 10 milliliters. So this is where we're going to use the density. All right, so let me do that work here. So my first trial, I got 8.86 grams. Okay, my temperature of the water is 21 degrees. So um, at 21 degrees, the density is 0 0.9980 grams. I'm going to put the grams per mil. I'm going to put the grams in the bottom to get the grams, grams to cancel. And then the mill goes up on top. So the grams and the grams cancel. So 8.86 divided by 0 0.9980. Let's do that on my calculator really quickly. Or so that is a volume of 8.88 milliliters for my first trial. So notice that um, my final units are in milliliters, which is what I want. So that's going to be our first volume, 8.8 eight milliliters. Well, I'm not too happy with this replicate, my first trial. I wanted 10 milliliters, but I got 8.88 milliliters for my first trial. So let's go ahead and do trial number two, our second 10 milliliters to get to 20 mils. Now in order to do this, um, what we can do is I'm going to add the 10 mils already to my previous bottle, or excuse me, to my previous beaker containing the 10 mils. So I'm just going to add 10 mils to there. So when I do that, my second trial, the mass before addition is just going to be 40.94 grams. Okay? Because once again, I'm just adding 10 mils, my second 10 mils to the pre-existing beaker. So I'm going to take this out and let's add our second 10 mils to get to 20. I'm going to try to get to eye level here. All right, so here's our first 10 mils. Let's do our second to get to 20 mils. This is my second replicate. 
And again, we want to get that meniscus, which is that concave shape of water. We want that above the 20 milliliter mark. This is our second trial. We're going to do four of these. I think I'm going to do a, one more little squeeze from my plastic disposable pipette. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a couple more drops here. Alright, I think in my mind uh, that's uh, 10 mils for my second trial, so let's go ahead and weigh this. Alright, so my second 10 milliliters uh, has a weight of 51.87 grams, or, yeah, let's put 51.87 grams, so let's go ahead and fill that in. 51.87 grams. So this is my second replicate. Let's go ahead and subtract 51.87 minus 40.94. So I'm getting 10.96 grams. So let's convert that to volume utilizing our density. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that work up here. This is my second trial. So our second trial, we got 10.96, I'm, I'm sorry, 10.98 grams, 10.96 grams. 10.96 grams. So if you make a mistake, you can just cross it out with one line, initial and date. So 10.96 grams we got. So 10.96 grams times, and we're going to put that 0 0.9980 at the bottom to get the grams to cancel out. For every mil. Okay, the grams, grams cancel. We're left with milliliters, which is what we want. So 10.96 divided by 0.9980 zero is 10.98 milliliters. So in my second trial, I was aiming for 10 milliliters, uh, but in trial number two, instead of 10 milliliters, I actually got 10.98 milliliters. Okay, so my first trial, I was a little bit off. My second trial, I was a little bit better at 10.98 milliliters. Uh, let's go ahead and do the third and fourth trial uh, so for my third trial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 30, I'm sorry, I'm going to add a third 10 milliliters to get to 30 mils, but I'm going to add it to my pre-existing beaker. So I'm going to add a third 10 mils here. So my mass before addition, my mass before addition is just going to be for trial number three, 51.87 grams. All right, so I went ahead and filled out our third trial, this is our third 10 milliliters for a total volume of 30 mils. So remember, as I stated before, we're going to add the third 10 mils to our pre-existing beaker that has water in it. So weighing out the third 10 milliliters, I got a mass of 59.96 grams. Doing a subtraction that corresponds to a mass of 8.09 grams. Again, we want it in milliliters, so to do that, we're going to divide it by 0.9980 grams per milliliter. Notice again, I'm sort of flipping this density fraction to get the grams to grams to cancel to get to milliliters. So my third trial, I was aiming for 10 milliliters. I got 8.11 mils. And then finally, our fourth and final replicate, our fourth and final 10 milliliter measurement. We're going to add 10 mils to our pre-existing beaker. So we have our pre-existing weight as 59.96 grams. We added our final 10 milliliters for our fourth replicate. Got a mass of 71.49 grams. Doing a subtraction, it's 11.53 grams. And then converting that to milliliters, um, we got a volume of 11.55 milliliters. So taking an average of these four measurements, uh, remember our goal, our bullseye, is to get to 
10 milliliters by averaging these four replicates. So in your lab report as part of your post lab, uh, you're not going to report just 9.88 mils. You're going to do 9.88 mils plus or minus some error. That error is usually your standard deviation. And also in your post lab, for your lab report, you're going to measure a percent accuracy. So remember, accuracy is how close you are to 10 milliliters. And um, I guess I was pretty co close based on the average, though trial number one wasn't so great. Uh, neither was trial three. Uh, so that's accuracy. And then how reproducible are your individual measurements as they get to your target of 10 milliliters. So you're going to measure your precision, your percent accuracy, and 9.88 mils plus or minus your standard deviation. Remember, you can't just quote 9.88 mils. You have to do 9.88 mils plus or minus your error, and that error is usually the standard deviation. All right, so we finished the beaker. Let's go ahead and do our next instrument where we're trying to measure 10 milliliters, and this is called a graduated cylinder. One thing I want you to know about a graduated cylinder, which will be important for future labs, is that you read this to one decimal place. Okay, you can read this when you read off the markings. You should be able to read a to one decimal place. All right, so let's go ahead and measure our first 10 milliliters from here. So I'm going to get down on the ground here. Well, before I do that, excuse me, uh, let's weigh this. Okay, let's weigh out the empty graduated cylinder. I'm going to zero this for those of you that are doing this virtually. And then let's weigh out the empty graduated cylinder. All right, I've recreated the same table. And this is what you're going to have to do for your lab notebook. I recreated another table here. This time it's for the graduated cylinder, not the beaker. And the weight of the empty graduated cylinder is 88.76 grams. All right, now I'm going to measure out our first 10 milliliters. Let's go ahead. I'm going to get down on my knees here, try to get eye level to this. to get to 10 mils as best as we can is our goal. We're going to do this four times for four replicates. Again, emphasis is, tr is to try to get the meniscus above the 10 milliliter mark. I'm going to stop there, and let's weigh this. I got gloves, but you can use what's called a Kim wipe to not get fingerprints on it. All right, I'm getting a weight of, this is with 10 milliliters, 98.49 grams. Okay, this is my first replicate of 10 milliliters. So let's do 98.49 grams minus 88.76 grams. I'll do that really quickly on my calculator here. I'm getting 9.73 grams. Okay, let's remember now uh, our density at 22 degrees is 0.9978. So I'm going to do that quick little calculation here. 9.73 grams and then uh, get our grams to cancel. 9.75 milliliters. So I was aiming for 10 milliliters and I got 9.75 milliliters. So that's not bad. That's pretty good. I'm kind of happy with myself. Let's go ahead and do a second 10 milliliters. For that, we will just add to our already pre-existing graduated cylinder. So our second replicate, our before mass is 98.49 grams. And let's go ahead and do a second 10 milliliters for 20. I think I'm going to stop right there using my best judgment and then let's go ahead and uh, weigh this. This is my second replicate of 10 milliliters. It got a mass of 
0.57 grams. We do a quick subtraction here. It is 10.08 grams. It's pretty good. Again, that's in grams, so we want it in milliliters, so 10.08 grams. Let's use our density. You should recognize that your density is temperature dependent. So at 22 degrees, our density of water is 0.9978 grams over mils. But I'm flipping it to get the grams. Grams canceled, getting it in mils, which is the right units, is about 10.10 milliliters. So in my second trial, I was aiming for 10 milliliters. And I'm pretty accurate here. Uh, pretty close to bullseye. I got 10.10 milliliters. So our third trial won't run. We're going to add to our already pre-existing graduated cylinder. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and add our next 10 mils for 30 mils and fill out the rest of the table uh, with our fourth replicate as well. All right, so I went ahead and did the third and fourth replicate. So the third 10 mils for a total of total volume of 30 mils, that 10 mils actually was 9.41 grams. Uh, dividing it by the density, I got 9.43 milliliters. And then uh, the fourth one was 10.4 grams for a amount of volume of 10.42 milliliters. So the average of all of these, if I quickly take the average, utilizing the graduated cylinder of 9.93 milliliters. Okay, so it's your job as part of the post-lab assignment is to get an error. So error would be 9.93 milliliters plus or minus the standard deviation or plus or minus some sort of error. All right, don't forget to weigh out your empty beaker here. So I'm going to uh, dispense the water from the glass pipette into this small beaker. And uh, also don't forget to make your table. This is actually the 10 milliliter glass pipette. So it's an error on my part. So if you get an error, just cross it with one line and then initial and date. So that's how we do errors in our lab notebook because this is not the graduated cylinder. As you know, it's the 10 milliliter glass pipette. So that's how you address errors. No need to scribble it all here and there, all right? And so the mass of the empty 50 mil glass beaker is 32.20 grams. So, and now let's weigh out using our glass pipette 10 milliliters here. All right, now let's go to our third and final instrument to measure 10 milliliters of water. And this is the glass pipette. So this technically should be the most accurate. So here is a pipette pump. Uh, so we're going to uh, put that pipette pump right in here. We're going to sort of turn it in. And you'll have, you know, you'll get a good grasp of it if you do this in the lab. And then the line that you want to get to 10 milliliters is right here. The meniscus should be above this line, 10 milliliter line. You can see it better um, when, you, uh, when you actually do the experiment. All right, and we're going to roll this up to suck up 10 milliliters of water. So I'm going to try to do this. So here is my reservoir of water. All right, so I'm just going to roll. Okay, I'm going to whip my thumb. I'm going to roll this. with my thumb. Alright, so um, a little bit over. Okay, let it release a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to release with my thumb. Sometimes this thing will drop down. Go a little bit, let me overshoot it so that it actually drops down. I am slowly depressing it. So it's going to take a little bit of time and finagling. All right, so um, let's go here. And then um, we're going to press the um, top part here. And then just pressing down on that little top button lever. This is the first of uh, four. 10 milliliter measurements trying to get to or as close to 10 milliliters accuracy. Precision is 
reproducing that through all four trials. So let this go, wait till that last drop enters. All right, so now, all right, so using the glass pipette, this is our first 10, mil, 10 milliliters. We got a weight of 41.95 grams. This is our first replicate. So 41.95 minus 32.20. Let me do that really quickly on my calculator. So I'm getting 9.75 grams. Okay, as you know, um, the density of water at 22 degrees, which is the temperature we found, is 0.9978. So like we did with the other instruments, I'm going to do the exact same thing. We got 9.75 grams. The density of water at our temperature is 0.9978 grams per one mil. So the grams grams cancel. So uh, this corresponds to about 9.77 mils. So I thought I was getting 10 milliliters out, but I actually got 9.75 milliliters out. That's pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and do our second replicate. Don't forget now, uh, we will just put in the second 10 mils to the pre-existing container. So for our second replicate, our second 10 mils, the mass before the addition of anything is going to be 41.95 grams. All right, here's our second trial here. Again, it's going to require a little bit of finagling. I'm rolling with my thumb. Okay, and be patient. Okay, definitely be patient. Don't do it too fast or too slow. I'm overshooting it a little bit and letting it go, so it's going to go down. All right, now I'm going to slowly depress. Everyone's going to be a little bit different. All right, uh, let me just do a little bit more. Let's be very, very slow. All right, so I think I'll do it with that. That's uh, just a little bit more again. Be patient. Patience is a virtue here. down on that top lever. Trying to get as close to 10 milliliters as we can using this glass pipe pen. Okay, so push, push, push. Get that last drop in. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh this and see what we get. All right, getting a volume of 51.83 grams. All right, let's do some quick uh, subtraction here. 51.83 grams divided by 41.9, uh, excuse me, minus 41.95 grams. So I'm getting 9.88 grams of water that's in there from that second 10 mil dispensing. Obviously, let's convert that to milliliters because that's what we are interested in. So 9.88 grams of water in our second replicate. Our density of water is one mil is 0.9978 grams. So grams, grams cancel, a volume of 9.90 milliliters. This is really good uh, in my mind. The second replicate, 9.90 mils. Remember I was aiming for 10 milliliters at 9.90. All right, our third one, our third 10 mils, we're just gonna add to our pre-existing beaker. So the mass before the addition uh, is gonna be 51.83 grams. So we got our mass of water from the 10 milliliter glass pipette. Here's our third trial. They got 9.82 grams, which corresponds to 9.84 mils after uh, dividing it by the density. And then our fourth trial, um, we got 9.36 grams, which corresponds to 9.38 milliliters. An average of these four is 9.71 milliliters. Remember that anytime you do anything in replicate, anytime you do anything in replicate, you're going to have to put an error, standard deviation, beside it. So it's 9.71 mils plus or minus your error. And that error is usually your standard deviation.